Don't keep the, me out of the beach house. Owning the dance floor. Nice play. You could see Cressy trying to crowd. Got him. And he'll need to have that part of his game organised. Reach, isn't it? Foot speed at the net doesn't do you much good. Chris, he's got that in abundance. This is a nice pass. Look at the size of the man. Nearly two metres tall. I you can't believe you're watching the same sport that you played, so I want the evaluation of Cressy's style at the net in a sec. Just rips that backhand, O'Connell, for two break points. Too big. Yeah, no, Connell dawdles to the chair and Cressy got into the country that way. Drops in. Cressy had a play at it. And he's, he's come in off a few of these second serves, so now O'Connell knows it's got to be pretty good. And he served body, which is the way to go, but Cressy deals with it really well. Well done. I can only imagine. Well, you can. It's kind of hip flexors used. Oh dear, that's it's just dangerous. Hard for me to comment. I've never had a hip flexor injury. Don't even know if I've got one. Well, that'll feel good. Yep, that helps. A hold for O'Connor. I'm going to text him to find out what's going on. You do that. That's about a point for O'Connor. Game O'Connor. Perfect hold for O'Connor. Across the court. We're about halfway now. And you can see Cressy coming from shadow to sunlight, back into shadow. Get in his grill. The comfort on serve continues for Cressy as well. He's dropped just We're at four all. Well, I just wonder, Chris has been blocking and maybe he's got no choice other than to block. It's just coming on too quickly, but does he? Game. He's engaged game. now. One game away from taking the second set. Problem is, it'll be on Cressy's serve. Hasn't had many chances, but now if he does get half a chance, he's ahead in the count. Break points will become set points. Well yeah. done. So peppering the forehand there, while which is said pre-match. Yeah. Cressy wanted to play that little drop shot, which he hasn't gotten right, and in the end, he does the right thing. I mean. And misses the volley, and O'Connell. Has show caught three on its feet. O'Connor. By seven games to six. I, I think it's a bloke in the bowels of the stadium with a newspaper, a coffee and a cigarette. <laughs> Does he actually start to try to hit a few returns? He's He's chipped. There we go. Mm. Steps into that one. A bit shell shocked with the way things have unfolded here early in the third. Oh. He will 
looks like the serve volley. A neat little clip. He volleys well, Chris. He's actually got good technique. You watch his racket here, it will barely travel. He'll just get the racket on the right plane. I've never seen a player with so little discrepancy in pace between first and second. And he races to a 5-2 lead in this third. Takes care of it there, O'Connell. So asking Cressy to serve it out. Just a really sharp delivery, and that's exactly what he gave then at 180. Really worked hard with the body under the ball. And there it is again. That is an outstanding set of tennis from Maxime Cressy. After he dropped the second set, the crowd was going off. He took them out of the equation totally. Chris tries to go body on a second serve, just not enough on it. Got him. Game, game Another break. O'Connell just consulate at the net. But the, the Sampras racket was uh, would have been complicated for the modern day player. Philippus is 400 grams plus. Mats Willander 400 grams plus. And Mats wasn't a big guy. At 30 all. Well, Chris is going to take a big swing. Really good from O'Connell, following it in. The deft touch over the top, and he's got himself a break point. The crowd was still going off his brain. But wasn't he ready to serve? Oh, what a volley that is. One of his best of the match Two. to save a break point. Crossy does really well there. It has been domination on his serve for the majority of this match. That was about survival, and survive he does. And didn't he do well with the time violation? Because he had a second serve. His first serve was taken away from him. And he came up with probably his best volley of the match. How does he get out of this one? O'Connell. One at a time. There's one. Two to go. Does he go to the forehand? Goes body yeah, and he deals yeah, with it yeah. unbelievably well. He's played some good stuff at times, but this man on serve has really handled things well. And of yeah, course, it was going to end that way. Maxime Cressy. You wouldn't know it with the celebration at the end of the match, but that's arguably the biggest win of his career. What it means for him, he's into the fourth round. That's a superb performance playing away from home.